of all the four uh, malleolus to uh, fix it uh, because there is there will be the quite a big swelling and uh, the first yeah. into okay and in my institute Sorry, sir. Sikhane ko hai kuch nahi. The we the key point here. The key point here is to get the talus in the right position. As I said yesterday, also we'll never have a problem if on the day first day you get the talus in the right position. We get many of them have got an associated wounds etc. Many of them have got polytrauma. So we put an X fix the talus in the right place. Then you can err on the side of waiting. Some of our cases actually. We don't have a choice that we are forced to wait. Head injury, chest injury, you no know, other polytrauma. But yes, you shouldn't wait too long because these are small cancerous bones. It becomes a problem. Ideally, five to twelve, fourteen days is the best time. Sometimes the time is decided by the the overall polytrauma. Thank you, sir. Please proceed. Thank you. So, um, in the spirit of discussion, sir. Uh, is a case I just wanted to uh, uh, run it past, and maybe people can come and comment. I think the, the panel's dwindling every day by the looks of it. So only two people in the hot seat might need to shift to the audience. Okay. So here's this young guy. It starts off with this guy. He's a 28 year old guy. He's on a, a regular scooty and he's kids and he falls and he's seen locally. And that's the x ray <clears throat> that is produced. He goes and sees a local practitioner just close to where the, ac uh, where the accident is. Guys, uh, how would you manage this? Straightforward ankle analyst. Any worries at all? Anybody else? Any uh, Girish? Any anything yes, else? CT, you can see? CT scan. CT scan can. Nahi hua, Girish. This is what we have. There is a cantilateral caput fragment. Dikh hai, isme fragment. Okay, so you. There is playing of and distal tibia. Right. So do you think there's a caput frag fragment in there? Uh -huh. And anything else that is worrying you at all? This is broadening of lower end of tibia on the lateral. Right. Okay. It's an anterolateral pylon. It's an anterolateral pylon. Okay. So, CT scan doesn't get done. He gets treated in a, in a plaster. The plaster continues for a period of two, two months. The plaster is removed. He's allowed to mobilize. He keeps on doing physiotherapy. So this is when he comes to us, which is about five months later. He's struggling to walk. He can't take proper steps because the ankle is and it's also very painful it's more that he can't take weight on the ankle that is that is the worrying part the stiffness doesn't totally worry me at this stage but i do uh, i mean I, I look at him clinically and that's what it is remember the left foot is is the one which is which is the injured one i didn't think much on clinical examination and i thought i'm sure he'll settle down but i said you know maybe we should investigate you more that's the x-ray which was taken so any any difference at all in in what you thought initially and where he is now, so this is the same guy, no mixing of extra. What do you think is more, what do you think looks like a big problem now? Nitin, um, change in plan or, sorry, no, you, I, I didn't give you a CD, so unfair of me to push you to a corner. There's some malunion in the anterolateral part of lower end of tibia. Agreed. What else? What else is the problem when you when you look at this? There's definitely malunion. He's definitely overloading the lateral lateral part of the of the talus now. He anything else that is worrying you out here? So the relationship between uh, talus as well as fibula is not proper. It Indeed. needs some uh, evaluation, detailed evaluation in form of CT. Okay, so here's the CT scan. Now we're getting clever. So we decide to get a CT scan, not our patient. We've just started seeing him. So this is this is what the CT scan looks like. I don't think you should feel many. Sorry. So now there is a malaria. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Don't think much about this. This is this is not really relevant in there. So that's what is what is more relevant. So this is starting from the medial side, going to the lateral side. And I think as you guys sort of uh, pretty much have said, there is a little fragment in there. There's a little fragment which is which is which is look, looking displayed. So that's that's. Uh, so this is the 
to the axial cut. So that's a fragment that we've been all sort of seeing now. Mm. You can see that the fragment is displaced. This fragment displacement is actually, it's not that the orientation of the uh, fibula and the tibia is, is altered. It's just that this fragment and position in there is actually maybe causing the major problem. And that's what it looks like on the, on the, on the coronal cut. So this is where we are now. This is the fragment which we are, which we are looking at. So this, remember that was the standing one and this is a lying down film. And this, the, the, um, uh, that, that's a reconstructed image and that's what we're looking at this. So with this information, what would you like to do? Take the same CT scans of the opposite foot to see for the alignment of the distal tip. It's easy to get, doesn't add to the problem. Yeah, I think a uh, point well made. We could have got a CT scan of the opposite side. We didn't really get it at that stage. Just to just go over the finer points. So this is the fragment we're looking at. This is the fragment we're looking at. Supposing this is abnormal and the other foot is normal, Mandeep. Dr. Mandeep, what would you say should we do now? The other foot is abnormal. It's going to tell me about the tilt of the distal tibial plafond. That's what I'm trying to see. Okay. Is it only an isolated uh, posterior medial fragment? Number one. Number two, it'll tell me whether the gaps of the syndesmosis are the same as the other side. Let's because I'm probably going to be doing an osteotomy over here. So let's and I want to do whether I do a just one osteotomy or an elevation of the articular surface. Okay, let's go with the idea that the other one was not showing anything. This is, this is abnormal. Let's just go with the idea. What are the pain generators you think? So in principle, the pain is pretty much on an anterolateral aspect, anterolateral aspect of the ankle. And the ankle is very, very stiff. So have you tried uh, uh, local injections to identify the pain generator? We do it. You think it will make a difference in this? No, scenario? not for treatment. Yes. For giving them an injection and asking them 10 minutes, 20 minutes later, has your pain gone down? If you think it's an interior related pain, give the injection 2 ml interiorly. And after a while, if the pain doesn't go away, then it's a referred pain to the front from the back. Because we'll have to plan our surgery accordingly. So you think this guy, you can be mad? I mean, okay, what, are, what are the two options? That, what's running in your mind, really? It's a, it's a malleolar malunion, right. and it's old, and there is going to be some element of degeneration. Yeah. I have to decide one of two things. Do I get the malleolus down right. without doing anything to the fibula? It's going to be difficult because of the ligament attachment to the fibula. It's going to be a hell of a struggle. And will the pain go away? Okay. Sampad, were you going to say something? So we are uh, at two months post injury. Yeah, five months. Five months. Five months. Because two things. Uh, initially, if this injury is there, we should look at the proximal fibula as well. Because whenever the such odd posterior malleolus doubt this so. thing is there, uh, still I will look for it because then it gives me the orientation that look uh, even syndesmosis is not good. So I believe all these X-rays are single leg standing. So what? Yeah, uh, so single leg standing, as Mandeep sir said, you can compare on opposite side, if at all, in addition to malunion, are we dealing with something which is not good with the syndesmosis as well? Because then it will tell me about the management that I can go ahead, take down the uh, mal malunion, reduce syndesmosis, reduce the syndesmosis in good position, and whatever uh, uh, reduction I get of malleolus, I will accept and fix it with the uh, screws. Okay. So this was not something that we ordered, but some my, well, one of my colleagues who also saw him organize an M M MRI scan. Do you think the MRI scan adds anything at all to this, Sampath? It will give you uh, an information about the syndesmotic ligaments, if at all, how, how they are there. But then you should read it to yourself. Okay, I, 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 I to totally agree with you. There is the plafond depression in there. That's why you see, I mean, for me, the site of pain was not, in my opinion, was not very difficult. So I didn't really think the injection would really have helped me. So this is, this is what I, this is what I was looking for. I can see the loading on the talus. You can see the impression that the, this, is, this is happening in there. You can see there's something happening just in there as well. So these are the, all the, the rest of the MRI images that we, that we discussed. So this is, again, just, just giving you a clearer viewpoint. So he's definitely overloading on the, on the talus. It's definitely, Fluid which has actually gone into that gap on, gap on, on the back. So this is already, for, for me, this is showing overloading, uh, a valgus alignment. Overloading. The talus is lying in valgus syndesmosis, in my opinion, is looking distorted. I'm not saying it's opened up because of the conventional opening up, but it has opened up. It's five months. So where do we go from, uh, where do we go from here? What would you do? 
Okay. <laughs> uh, Chetan, any any suggestions? He's young guy. He's twenty twenty two. I would uh, attempt to reconstruct the plafon in the sense I'll do an osteotomy and get it back. A postal approach, osteotomize the plafon, bring it down. Bring it down and put plate a plate it. on something. Yeah. That's it. it. Anything Maybe else you'd like to do at the same time? And try to get that surface with a template of the talus on that elevated, maybe use a bone substitute there. Right. Okay. So this is what I thought was my main problem. I thought my tibia was in, was in valgus because it might be a joint depression or thing. I thought the fibula was fairly long. Uh, when I say long, if you look at this x-ray that was, that was done, the fibula is fairly long in there. That's not that the fibula should be. So this is, this has come out slightly long. So this was the malposition with this endosmotic uh, malposition. So this is what my surgical plan was. A medial closing wedge tibial osteotomy, shorten the fibula, osteotomize the posterior malus, reduce and fix it. Started off with the, with the, with, with the medial incision, uh, did, did a closing wedge, put a plate in there, went to the posterolateral aspect, closed, uh, did the osteotomy, fix it, and this is, this, this is what it this is what, what looked like at the end. So the fibula has been shortened to bring it out, and this seems about much better in here, if you ask me. So the articular surface, again, sorry, if you put in enough metal, you can always hide your articular incongruity. Maybe that's what I've tried to do. It's too much metal, so maybe you can't. But you can actually just see about the parallelity, which you can see in there. The fibula has been shortened to, it's, 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 I think it was about five, six millimeters. So Chief, I think it is the depression on that side, which was making, relative, relative, sorry, relative. I was coming to that, Gurinder. The fibula is not lengthened and it's not long. It's your depression of the tibia which you need to deal with. Yes, but and I would personally hate to create too instability. You're already osteotomizing the lower end of tibia. Yes. You are also osteotomizing your fibula in a run for decreasing the height of fibula, which is not really required. So now you have basically undercorrected your tibia because you have uh, shorten your fibula, you know. So, if you really measure your opposite side height of tibia, his height of tibia is less because you have not fully corrected your tibia. Uh, you have kind of uh, shortened your fibula to accommodate your uh, compromised tibial lengthening or correction of tibia. Look, look at my telocrine angle. I've actually actually restored what I wanted to restore. So if, you, uh, the... if you compare two extremities now, your opposite side is still long because you have shortened this. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? I, I hear what you say, but I think, you know, the problem is in your CT scan, if you can't make out that crack going into the tibia very clearly, which I couldn't. I agree, you have reconstructed the ankle. I've reconstructed the ankle. You have uh, reconstructed it beautifully. It looks fantastic. If you only look at this particular joint and not see the entire length of the leg. Right. Okay. I, 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 I hear what you say because potentially the fib, fib, fibula was not, not really sort of fractured. Uh, but this is what the, it looks uh, like. Go back, go back one slide. Uh, still there is a gap between the uh, lateral malleolus and the talus there. Large gap. Uh, if I think if we get a mortise, you might, my, my, because you know. Compared with the opposite side, it is better. I, I, I agree. The, ideally, the, ideally, the mortise view would have been, uh, could, could have been done slightly better. Again, not a, not, not a, prop, uh, not a proper one out there. This is, this is what he obviously looks like. If you have a look in there, I mean, I, do, I mean, you know, again, I think you're, you're right. I should have done a, a, a better view or concentrated a little bit, little, little bit more, more on that. But then, I mean, again, this is, this is somewhere about uh, four months, four months post-op and he's definitely walking about uh, fairly, fairly comfortably. Um, so it's, uh, settled on quite well, no, no real issues presently. Again, but I, I hear some of the criticism which I've, which I've got. Maybe analysis of the opposite side might have might have been a might have been a good. Any questions at all? Next case. Can we proceed for the next case or what?